it's Inbox. Today we're going to be talking about the Geico 500 at Talladega. Let's get into it. And we're told they have lost turn number four. It is completely wet, and therefore, uh, NASCAR has just announced today's Geico 500 has been postponed, rescheduled for tomorrow, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So, yeah. When we get to Monday, this happened, sadly. Series champion Kyle Busch in green and their crews. The entire garage area has rallied around Bubba Wallace and the number 43 today. Because yesterday afternoon, a noose was found hanging in the garage stall of Bubba's race car. In the NASCAR Cup garage area, a secure area where access is limited to competitors, officials, and track staff. A despicable act by someone flying directly in the face of NASCAR's efforts to build a culture that is diverse, equal. So yeah, at this point, shit's going shitty, right? We start the race, get 60 laps in, and then we get a rain delay. But after the rain delay, shit goes down. And Ryan Blaney did this. My, what Ryan Blaney did there, I was waiting for Ryan Blaney's car to have, to go completely around. See, he jumps out. As he does, he's being pushed by Brad Keselowski. Luckily, Brad Keselowski sees it, checks up. Look at the hands and through the windshield, Ryan Blaney and how many corrections he had to make inside that car. So, yeah. Amazing save by Blaney there, but I think 20 laps after, this happened. Oh, big Chase spin. Elliott. Chase Elliott. And everybody scatters. <laughs> Several years ago, they paved that entire backstretch apron at Talladega. And it's a good thing they did. You see heavy gators the front end of that car. Then you see, look at the right rear's down. I mean, all the tires down. Big damage. He's running fourth the last time they came by the line. My car up on the outside. It's a big push from the two car. Brad Keselowski, oh, the 22 of Logano moves up in front of him while he's getting that push for Brad Keselowski. Brad, again, like we talked with Logano. So, yeah. Pretty crazy for the number nine of Chase Elliott and his little suit sponsor. But towards the end, the ending of this race was just hectic in its fucking self. Shit went crazy. Like fucking crazy. Like, watch. Blaney pokes out. Stenhouse is with him. Harvick got away from Usher. Oh, reckon. But up front, they're racing for the win. Blaney's ahead. is in the back, and Blaney is the leader. Stenhouse comes back to him on the bottom. Off turn four, three wide. Not over yet. Here comes Eric Jones. Nemechek trying to push Jones. Eric Jones with help. Here comes Almirola. Crash into the wall. I think it's Stenhouse. It might be Blaney. Oh my goodness. They were what, three, four wide? Slamming and banging. Almirola spun out, but he's in third position at the line. Great job there, Josh. Where you think Tom selected? Scoring unofficial and under review. And Ryan Blaney wins Talladega. What a wild finish. Now Ryan Blaney was able to side draft, get that run, get to the inside of the four. Here comes a huge run. John Hunter Nemechek to the rear bumper of Eric Jones, just shoving him to Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney goes from the top all the way to the bottom to try to block that run. More contact. Man, Stenhouse was so close to pulling ahead of Blaney. Look, look at the 10 cars. Almirola, third at the line. How about that? 